Oh, I changed it up. It's been it's been time. It's 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 long past due to change the intro. How's everybody doing? It is warm and sunny here in Michigan. Um, so I've just got the fan going. Turn the air off because I'm tired of the the party flashing going on. But lots to do this week. Lots to do this week. Lots to do. Um, we're going to start off with the mail. Well, actually, we'll start off with a story. So um, the other night, this was over the weekend, I promised Ma Lane that we would go see where the crawdads sing. So my mom had listened to it on Audible. I drive so much that I constantly listen to books when I'm in the car. It gives me something to do besides listen to the same sports radio and Detroit teams are horrible right now. So um, I listen to books. So she told me I should listen to it. I did. I liked the book a lot. And so the movie came out and I promised my mom we would go see it. So um, I was waiting on the UPS man with my black light battle box. What's up, Johnny? Um, and he ended up showing up earlier than expected. So we, we went to dinner, had some time. So we went over to our Salvation Army. Now, I actually picked up three things. One, I'm not going to show you because there's the chance that where that other piece is going to that person is watching. And I don't want to spoil the fun. But I did pick up a couple of things. So, um, bobbleheads. I have a couple. My neighbor has got, he's the bobblehead aficionado. Um, but I picked one, this one up. For one, this guy's pretty much been, has been my favorite lion that we picked up. I already miss him. Hey, Ryan. Um, I already miss him. He was a very, very good guy. God, this box is loud. Uh, very, very good guy. Very nice. Did a lot for the community while the short time that he was here. And so I picked up, he doesn't bobble very well though. I picked up Golden Tate. I love Golden Tate. I just think Golden Tate's been, he's just a super nice guy. He, you know, tried to do what he could. Obviously we, we didn't end up keeping him. I think he went to the Steelers after us. Um, which is a bummer because I think we could have used him no matter what. Uh, but this is only three bucks. So I don't know how much he would have been. This is the 2017 collector's edition. Lot number 10.0817. So I picked him up. He doesn't bobble very well though. So he's probably, he's a pretty cheap bobblehead, I would assume. But I picked him up. I have now a Red Wings bobblehead and now a Lions bobblehead. I will never have a Pistons bobblehead because I really don't care for basketball. Uh, and then I picked this up. So this is something that I want to play with everybody. We'll have to get a couple of uh, of people on one of the weeks coming up. But I picked up TV Guide the Game. 2,700 questions. Hey, Umpty. Um, so it's got everything from, it says, from the 50s to the 90s, sitcoms, game shows, sports, kid stuff, and much more. And there's a remote control in here. Talking remote picks fascinating TV categories. I don't know how to play it yet, but I figured this would be something fun. They just turn with what's left of the mall into a sports complex here. You never know, Caitlin. Maybe they'll put a hot topic in there. Yeah, Caitlin is lurking. Oh, she she was the first one. So I think this is going to be fun. Uh, we picked it up for only five bucks. It, it hasn't even been opened yet, um, which is cool. So this should be a good time. Something that I'm hoping that we can do on a future show here. So that's the whole reason I bought it was to play with you guys. But we'll have to get some contestants. And I didn't have time. So we've been getting kind of blasted with rain Um the past week, not my area. There's like a giant bubble of do not rain on Brandy's area going on. So, um, not my area, but like around me has been getting hammered. And so calls have picked up. It's great for me, bad for the people I'm going to see, um, which is sad, but it is what it is. All right. Mail call. This is what always gets me in trouble every single week. So hi, Lise. Um, this is from Mama J. Mama J's whatnot. 
these are kind of fun. So I put these on my backpack. So again, I'm not counting this towards my thousand. This is my other loophole because these go on my backpack. And my backpack's actually been in good use this week because I'm actually doing some taping for my company um, over in Grand Ledge. Uh, I have since like last Friday. So um, I'm going to show these last because these go with the next thing I want to show. So we've got Thundercats pins. Oh, I know. Hey, Shepard. We've got Willy Cat and Willy Kit. We've got Chitara. We've got Panthro. I think there's one more. I thought there was one more. Yep. We've got Snarf, which I know a lot of people hate Snarf. I think it's the voice. I think it's the same reason why people dislike Jar Jar Binks. I'm not really sure. Um, I picked this up for my mom. It's a puzzle, but it's the cast puzzle keys. Uh, I don't think she's watching right now. So I picked this up for my mom. My mom's into the, all things Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So I picked that up for her, for Mama J. These are all going to go together. And then uh, this is the last of the Thundercats. Jaga, I think is his name. And then I've got a Masters of the Universe pin. The Masters of the Universe logo. She sent me the Superman because we didn't get around to that. But I got the Superman logo. <clears throat> I got the Star Wars logo. Ooh, next one's have a Chuck pin. I got the Ninja Turtles logo. And then this is the biggest lot that I picked up. <clears throat> so uh, I got the G.I. Joe logo. I got the communications officer. I actually remember playing with this guy when, when I was a kid. We had we had one of these in the in the group of G.I. Joes that we played with. Uh, Baroness. This is Snake Eyes. Love Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes Freddy is super cool. Uh, this is Sergeant Rock and Roll. I don't know if he's going to... No. And then last but not least is Scarlet. So I always liked playing Scarlet when I was G.I. Joeing with the guys. Now, the reason I did G.I. Joe's last is because a pre-order that I completely forgot that I pre-ordered came in, and that is the Cobra Fang. Which is pretty stupid because I really don't have room for another ride. And I can't get rid of any of them that I got because one was a gift. The three, all three of them that I have are gifts. I'll have to figure this part out. But I think this is super cool. Underdogs, the outcast. Yeah, I think that's true, Nick. Uh, so I haven't gotten this out of the box yet, but I figured we'd unbox it just to see. I don't know if this thing spins. I'm not really sure. Box came in pretty good shape. Uh, and it was delivered on a Sunday, which was shocking. No, it's it's not. It doesn't move. I thought maybe that the uh, propeller might move, but it does not. <clears throat> but I remember my neighbor, um, Parks, when I was growing up, he had one of these that we actually, you, he had all, all of the, the equipment and the machines and all that kind of stuff. We just had some of the figures when we were kids. But this thing's heavy, too. Wow. But it is pretty cool. Um, not a step. It literally put not a step next to where the missiles are. Okay. So we got that in that I totally forgot I had ordered. That counts towards the thousand for sure. That's just going to be the running joke from now on. Running joke counts towards the thousand. We got Fang in. Hi, Fenway. 
got another box for Mama J. Caitlin, yours is coming up. And I don't remember what I ordered. I, I get kind of caught up when they're my friends. So, I remember. Oh, now I do. Okay. Once I open it. Shouts out to Ezra for my GME knife. I actually take that with me every day now. Because I never know where I'm going to end up. <laughs> so, uh, the first one I got from Mama J at a steal was the uh, Looney Tunes pop. It's the flocked Sylvester and Tweety. And then the t-shirt. I didn't have this one. I like them for the t-shirts mostly. I keep... I'm wearing a Funko t-shirt right now. Uh, I had to pick this one up because, and this again, it was a steal. I can't believe I got it this low. Hey, Eric, how are ya? Um, Is Chef Goofy. So I figured he kind of goes with the fact of the Geek Meets Eats thing going on. So I picked up Chef Goofy. Yes, he counts towards the thousand. That's okay. And then last, <laughs> just because I think it's funny... Rick James. So I picked up Rick James. Just because I, I always think of, of the, the saying, I'm Rick James, bitch. Uh, so I picked him up. Picked him up. From Mama J. So he's got a little bit of a, a ding in the back, which is, that's fine. It's okay. So we're going to get to the snack in a minute. I'm, well, it's starting to go. Okay. We're going to get to the snack. I got a brand new snack this week, courtesy of Kroger. Private selection. I've had it for a while. I have not tried it yet. It's actually leaking on my keyboard. Move that. <clears throat> all right. Comic books. Not keeping all of these. I am keeping some of these. Especially the one that I got to open, which is going to be last. Uh, so this is Spawn, Blood, and Shadows. Everybody knows I love Spawn. This is a sweet cover. This was in a mystery pick. Then I got a run. Oh, I got Spawn 17 as well. Which I didn't have that number. And then I got a run on Batman the Dark Knight. <laughs> so I have... Um, I've got two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Missing twelve, but we've got thirteen and twenty-five. So that's a big run. I I might try and find one at the local comic shop and see if I can't give this a read. Since I got so many in a run, um, might be able to do that. We'll see. And then Batman Detective Comics, um, it's different. Those were The Dark Knight. This is Batman Detective Comics, but also a great cover, uh, number 17. Dark Vigilante. I agree, Eric. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. All right. And this last one to open is uh, something Caitlin picked up for me. Uh, I very much appreciate it, friend. Uh, and uh, you guys will see why here in a second. Very, very, very much appreciate it. Oops, sorry, fun one. Bang the dog. So this is uh, the Mandalorian number one Pride variant edition. Love, obviously, the Mandalorian. I know that my um, other version is coming right now. I saw that it is shipped. So I hope to have those by next week's show. 
and see how that goes. So, um, Patreons, Umpty's here, Caitlin's here, Eric's here. How do you guys want me to run the Batman versus Spawn books? I do not, Umpty. I do not have that. Okay, how do you guys want me to run the um, the giveaway for the uh, one of the 720 piece handmade by robots uh, ghost faces that's coming out? Um, they're supposed to ship this week, is what I think I saw on their uh, social media that they're they're supposed to ship. Uh, I know they launched another 720 piece um, that was the Glow Jack Skellington. And I, I've had multiple people reach out to me about it. Like, is there, um, I'm not going to be petty with the whole issue with that store. Um, I think if you like Handmade by Robots, support them. Um, it shouldn't matter what stickers on the box. If you want the character, go and buy it. Uh, I bought one. So it is what it is. You know, I don't have a problem with them. They have a problem with me. And it's... I find it petty because nothing I did not harm their business in any way, shape or form. And I, I mean, all I did was go on, on a, a live stream. So, um, good luck to them. That's all I got to say. I hope everything goes well for them. Um, I'm not going to, to belittle them or talk badly about them. If you guys want to go by the glow in the dark Jack Skellington, please go do so, you know, add it to your thing. Um, use that geek meets eats though. Save yourself 5%. All right. Run it with the shoes. Is it in, all right. That I could do that. All right. Are we ready for the snack of the week? Snack of the week today, since it is hot out, I thought I would um, do an ice cream this week. So my ice cream that I picked up um, is actually from Kroger, is private selection, and it is brown butter banana French toast. Let me see if I can get that in front of my face so maybe it'll focus. Okay. So this is, uh, it doesn't have much of a description. It just says brown brown butter banana French toast. Uh, limited edition ice cream. It is a little melty because I've had it sitting out for a couple minutes, but I was hoping that it would be a little bit melty so that maybe I could get some, some chunks. Kind of just smells like cinnamon. Like I thought maybe it would have a big banana smell to it, but so far it doesn't. It just looks like vanilla ice cream with some specks in it. Well, do you guys want a wheel? Do you want me to put your names in a hard stack? Do you want me to try and figure out how to do a duck race? Mm. Nick, you need to go back and watch the episode where we actually cook with brown butter. It's where they uh, they cook it just to the point where the the butter solids start to turn brown. It turns really nutty. It almost tastes like it's got bourbon in it. It has waffle cone pieces in it. There's definitely like a a bourbony flavor to it, like a liquor flavor to it. Banana puree, butter. All the bad sugars. <clears throat> Fruit juice concentrate. Why? Powdered sugar, waffle cone pieces. It doesn't say that, but it does have like a flavor of like of of like liquor. Pretty good. Um, I've had 
different brown butter ice creams and I think you get more of the, I'm not getting the nuttiness of it. I mean, it's good. Mm. Brown butter is right before burnt butter. I like bananas foster, Eric. That's like my favorite thing to do where they use that 100 bananas liquor and stuff like that, light it on fire and they caramelize the brown sugar. There's definitely little pieces in here. Um, it's not waffle or French toast. I mean, it's or toast or anything like that. It's actually waffle cone, which is interesting. It's pretty good. I would say this week I would give it a, a 6 out of 10. I was expecting like maple flavor to it because it said French toast. So I was expecting some like maple, maple-y taste to it. Um, I was also expecting the French toast, more banana, and like a nutty flavor to it because of it being brown butter. But that being said, it's okay. It's okay. I need to get my chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream now. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate malted crunch in the freezer. I I just picked up a malted one. I'd never seen this brand before. They sell it at Rite Aid. I forget what it's called. And I don't know if it's a Michigan brand or a national brand. I'm not really sure. But they have a malted one. It's a malted chocolate. And if you take peanut butter and then you mix a little bit of milk into it. Like I warm up the peanut butter in the microwave for like... 20 seconds until it melts down and then you add milk to it so that it doesn't solidify as soon as you put it on the ice cream and drizzle that over that chocolate uh malted ice cream oh, it's so good it's so good so good once it hits your lips so good <clears throat> all right uh we have it too right it okay all right in a red it's in red right eric same one baked alaska is awesome i do like baked alaska I love when we used to go to restaurants where they do everything table side and we don't do that anymore. My dad has retired. And uh, so we kind of take it easy. Although speaking of my dad, big shouts out to Pa Lane. Pa Lane has a milestone birthday on Friday. My dad is turning the big seven zero. 70. I know he doesn't look it doesn't look a day over 21, not with the gray hair or anything. Uh, he actually just went down this last weekend and, uh, hung out with all of his friends called the goon squad, uh, down in Indiana. They had a barbecue. They did some, some boys things. And apparently my dad had so much fun that he has invited everyone here next year to the farm. Um, so next year we're hosting it. Um, and within 30 seconds, my dad had informed me that I will be um, on the small list of, of guests slash employees. I won't really get to hang out, but I'm going to help with the prep of everything. Uh, we have a brick oven pizza oven um, built in outside and um, on the in, in the outdoor kitchen area, if you will. And so they're going to do pizza night. And so basically we're going to help prep everything in advance um, to get the crusts ready and all of the toppings. So what we found is like if, because they cook so fast in that brick oven, um, because it's wood fired, the, if you heat up the toppings, it helps keep things moving so that you don't have cold because the, it tends to cook the crust really quickly. And um, well, you don't want cold toppings on super hot. And what we found out too is we put them in for a second, uh, let them cook on the one side. You put the raw side down on a paper plate. And then what we have, this is what we used to do on the grill. So if you only have a grill, you don't have a, obviously not everybody has a brick oven. If you want to do grilled pizzas and, and do like a pizza party, you can usually get fresh dough at your supermarkets nowadays, whether it's frozen or in our case, we have um, a place called Vincent Joe's and Vincent Joe's actually has fresh dough balls. And we separate those out into thirds or fourths, depending on how many people you have and how big their appetites are. Usually we do ours in thirds because we have bigger appetites, one, one per person usually. Um, and then we pretty much stretch them out as much as you can in advance. We um, 
treat those with olive oil and then and put them separated out and then you you grab your your dough you kind of stretch it out a little bit more it will shrink up uh, a little bit but uh and then we do things like pepperoni we have a couple we have pesto sauce we have spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce we have alfredo sauce um so we usually have three different sauces we have fresh mozzarella we have shredded mozzarella from the bag if you would prefer that parmesan asiago so we have a bunch of different cheeses and then every single topping you could think of, we, we do it. Um, I love doing the chicken sausage that always goes well. Um, so we do all kinds of stuff with that. And then now you just pop them in the oven. If you're going to do it on the grill, what you do is you take the doughs and you cook it for about four minutes on one side, yank it off and put the raw side down. And then your, Guests put their toppings on the partially cooked grilled side, that side. So when they take it back out, you slide the raw side down on the grill again. Um, brush your grill grates with a little bit of, of vegetable oil or any high smoke point oil uh, before you slide it back on there again. And um, that way you cook both sides of the, the dough with the toppings. <clears throat> oh, Trapper, wait, what's going on? Um, it's, it's so much fun and it, it's really good if you have like a group of kids because, you know, kids love pizza most of the time, um, and people get to make what they want. So, um, we usually do maybe five or six extra doughs in case somebody wants a second one. Um, and that way people can try different things at different times. Sorry. I had it on. I forgot that it was well after closing time. So... Um, we'll be doing that. He's got <coughs> a Blackstone griddle, uh, one of the bigger ones. Gruyere cheese is great for pizza. Um, we've done prosciutto, brie, and balsamic too, a balsamic glaze, and a little bit of arugula. Um, he's going to be doing stuff on the, on the Blackstone griddle, um, so he can do a full breakfast. I'll probably help him out a little bit and get some stuff prepped in advance for him. Um, and then but he has to do, I think, lunch and dinner the next day. So I know he's doing ribs uh, one of the days because he's got his big smoker up there. Can you bacon and pineapple for me? I love pineapple on my pizza. I know it's a big thing. I know it is. I know it's, it's crazy, crazy, but no anchovies. I've, I'm not a big anchovy fan at all. Um, I don't know why I'm just not, I, I mean, Eve, I've had Caesar salads with it in it and I feel like mentally that I can actually taste it in there. And so I tend to not eat that. All right. Okay. So the next thing I want to talk about is, um, Hey Sharon, how are you? Pineapple hot or cold? I, I eat pineapple either way. So I make a Hawaiian um, sandwich slider um, that I use the the Hawaiian slider buns, um, black forest ham that's thinly shaved. Um, I use uh, Gruyere cheese on those, uh, a grilled <coughs> caramelized pineapple on there, and then... Um, it is a garlic mayo that goes on that. Roasted garlic mayo that goes on those. Sushi pizza. No. Nope, nope, nope. All right. So, um, you guys probably saw the pictures posted, but I, I want to talk about this. So, and we'll get into SDCC as well. Um... For one, I was super shocked that I got one of the Blacklight Battle boxes. I've, I've never gotten a Fun Days box before um, in the last three years. I don't. I tried for it last year, didn't get it. Uh, the year before, I can't remember if I tried for it or not. But this is the first year that I got one. And supposedly I got one because I picked the Proto Robos, which is supposedly was supposedly the worst one that you could get. Um, I don't know if people still feel that way, knowing how things kind of shook out as far as what you could get in the boxes. But so um, this is my box. <clears throat> this is the outer box. We got a little ding right there. Little little dent in it there. But otherwise, box is in really good shape, right? Okay. 
So then I also had another box inside. That was box number one. Box number two. Little bit of a ding, not much there, but in otherwise, this box is in excellent shape, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then we got the inner sorter box. Oh, you really? I have to go check our Sharon. It's up at the farm. And then this is my actual box that was inside my sorter box. As you can see, pristine condition, not a nick on it. Not a nick on it. I was excited. Um, I had seen Ginger Pops and Unboxing Treasures videos um, about the damage that they had received. And when I opened it up, I was like, woohoo! Uh, I told Caitlin if I got the one um, that I'd pee my pants. And I really, I didn't pee my pants, but I came close to it. So on the surface, everything looks great. Except for the fact that I got a calamari pop. Uh, calamari pop will be one of the giveaways on whatnot because I have no interest in keeping that one. Let's see if I can get him out. And by calamari, I mean Squid Games. Mask manager with a square mask. Uh, relatively good shape on the box itself. There's a little ding up here. Not bad. I mean, nothing that to worry about. So I got the Squid Game Pop. Um, I got the Proto Robos one because I like the Transformers one. Um, I thought this turned out pretty cool. Have Caitlin custom him the Squid Games one? I might do it. I'm not sure. I have all the stuff to do it. I just haven't gotten it. Um, and then this is the one that I was dying for. I don't care about the piece count because I am such a big fan of the show and the series and the character itself. Um, I was super jazzed that I got Freddy Funko as the Mandalorian. And the only thing that was wrong with this one, which isn't too bad, and I don't know if you can see it, but there is the, the little indentation right there from where the box was folded and then a teeny tiny crunch in the front corner that's it but what i was extremely excited about was this one as well um this was like number two or three on my list of ones that i wanted um but it was a thousand piece count. I never get lucky enough to get the, the super, super limited one. So I got the glow in the dark Freddy Funko as Tron, which is awesome until you turn the box. And you guys see the, the rip that goes all the way across here. And then there's some sort of a, a smash it's like a, a machine pinched it or something all the way down the side and then down this side. I don't know if this box got crunched or what, but there is a crease all the way down that side as well. There's also a, a tear right down there in the corner of the window. So I was pretty bummed out um, that it was, it came so damaged because obviously out of, the four of them in this box, that one and the Mandalorian are going to be the most valuable. Um, but now this one is basically worth half um, because of the damage to him. So I reached out to Funko that day and um, I did get a response. Caitlin already knows this, but um, this is the response that I got. So if any of you, and I heard there were quite a few people that ha that received damage pops, um, this is the response that I got. I don't know if you guys will have the same luck um, or bad luck, but I will read you the response. Uh, 
Uh, this is from Aaron at Funko. Hi there. Thank you for sending photos of your box casualty. Casualty. I am sorry to see your Freddy Funko as Tron arrived in that condition. Unfortunately, we do not have any box replacement stock for the box of fun pops. I am unable to put in a request to send you one your way. However, I've gone ahead and refunded $15, the cost of the figure, back to your original method of payment for your order. Ordinarily, we do not provide any refunds for box condition, but I am making an exception for this case. You should see the funds return to your account within three to seven business days. We apologize for any disappointment. So, <clears throat> what do you think? Um, it really bums me out about the damage. It really does. I, I hadn't planned on, on parting with that one um, because of the fact that, it, that it's Tron. I've always liked the movies. Iron, and no, I can't iron that out. I wish I could. It's like... I'll send you like a better picture of it, Eric. Um, on this one side, it's like it's almost like the top paper is crinkled, um, and then there's a, a probably almost a two inch rip across the side. So I don't think this can be ironed out. This is like something that got pinched, is what it looks like. It, it's some sort of manufacturing defect, and that's a bummer because of this being the most one of the most limited pieces besides the ones that they actually gave out at fun days at SDCC. Too bad, loser. Tough luck. Here's your fifteen dollars. So you quit complaining. Don't message us again. Uh, pretty much, Caitlin. Um, I mean, I guess I'm glad I got something. I mean, they could have said we don't we don't do anything for box condition. I know other people have reached out to them for box replacements and received them. Um, I've also heard that sometimes those boxes come in worse condition than the first one. Um, I mean, I guess, do I look at it as at least they did something and I still have the pop, but at the same time, I'm just, I'm super bummed. Uh, I, I would have been heartbroken if it would have been the Mandalorian. He's, he's in okay enough shape. I'm not that upset about that. And then obviously, of course, the, the proto robos is the one that came in pretty much the best condition out of all of them. I mean, there's some scuffing on the window, but the way that they had them packed in that box, I mean, there's going to be scuffing on the window. Stuff always be like that. It's in special edition. Popping question. That's true. Yeah. I, I, I was shocked. I saw, um, I think I saw one of the Trons sold for like 700 bucks. And then it was amazing how within 48 hours, the prices of these started coming down crazy. Oh, wow. If the figure, I didn't even check to see if any of the figures are broken. I think I saw, um, who had it? The Tats maybe? Tats or somebody got one. It was the, the Darth Maul and the lightsaber was completely like bent around the back of the figure. Trade the turtles for it. No. No way. <clears throat> no way. So anyway, I got the box that I ultimately wanted. Yeah, it was Tats. Okay, thanks, Eric. Um, I got the box that I ultimately wanted because I got the Mandalorian. And that's the one that I, I absolutely had to have. I didn't care about piece count on that. I just wanted Freddy Funko as the Mandalorian. Um, that is that is like the absolute had to have it for me to go with the rest of this whole wall over here that's that collection. Uh, I would have liked to have Darth Maul. Um, maybe I'll pick one of those up when it you know comes down a little bit. And I would have liked to add Prince Adam. And maybe I'll pick that up too once they come down in price again. But for the most part... I got what I wanted. You know, I got I got the figures I wanted, and that doesn't usually happen. And then forward to the drop for SDCC. Um, Ma Lane was in on it, too. Shouts out to Ma Lane, because I was concerned about certain ones. Um, Prince Adam's on eBay for 60 bucks. I think that one's still going to drop down. I really do. I think Han Solo's going to end up in, like, about below 50, I would think. And I might grab him as well. Um, the Star Wars ones I liked. But um, fast forward to SDCC. Uh, in the past, when I've gotten in there, I've, I haven't been able to get anything that's super limited like the sodas. 
I did end up getting the Shira one, although I was completely shocked that I ended up got, grabbing her. I think she was 3,000 piece or something. Um, I wanted to get the Huckleberry. It was a Blacklight one. Huckleberry was limited to 5,000. Um, I wanted the Turtles and everything else. Um, so this is what I ended up getting. But let's talk about what happened that day. Um, so we went in. I loaded up my cart with like, 13 or 14 things thinking a lot of it was going to come off, you know, in the process of waiting to check out. And as soon as I clicked over, it said the link was broken. It wasn't working. I was like, Oh crap, I'm not going to get anything. My mom had the same thing. She sent me a screenshot. She got the same thing. We went back. I tried it on, I had like two different screens going on my phone. Um, kept getting the same kind of error. Then I got into a queue and it said that I was going to, I was like an hour. I'm like, I'm really not going to get anything today. And I tried on my computer and got it where it said, you know, 53 minutes. Well, I had to leave for work too. So I was like, crap, I'm just not going to get anything. Really not. And so I sat there and on my computer, it started ticking down. So on my phone, it was ticking down like 29, 28. This one was on my computer was going down to like 17. And then it would jump up to 23. And then it would jump, go down to 19 and then up to 22. And then it kept moving up and down, up and down. <clears throat> yeah, Mando will be a good investment, and Spidey is really cool. You didn't get anything broke after your trip. Tats, we were just talking about you and your uh, your curved Darth Maul. Um, <clears throat> I'll take your curved Darth Maul over my ripped Tron. My ripped and smashed Tron. Um, so then it, all of a sudden I was down to like five or six minutes. It went really quickly. So people were complaining. I saw about it. Well, there's an hour wait, but that hour wait trickled down super fast. And I expected everything in my cart to be gone uh, because it was like eight or 10 after. Right. And so this is what I ended up getting. So I ended up picking the two Ninja Turtles up. Uh, I'm assuming Michelangelo and Raphael probably come out for uh, NYCC, I would assume, or ECCC, I hope. Um, I picked up um, the Chrysanthemum Flocked because, obviously, I, I that is he started off as like a character I hated, and now I really like that character by the end. Um, I didn't put as much stuff in my cart this time. I was kind of click and go, uh, worried. Um, so I got the Larflees, I got an auto and I ended up getting a Huckleberry Hound, which I was shocked that I got the Huckleberry Hound. I was shocked that I had the Ninja Turtles in there. Um, I figured I could pick up, I could go to GameStop and grab the shared if I needed to from the Chrysanthemum from Book of Boba Fett, if I needed to. Uh, I did. I ended up calling Caitlin and I was like, how'd you do? Ma Lane picked up the pirate toucan days later um but during that drop she got another huckleberry hound so we have two to open uh and the l uh from legally blonde so mom well, we ended up with two huckleberry hounds which is, is great i'm hoping we get a perfect pull one common and one not and then i ran over to toy tokyo because i wasn't sure if funko allowed me to do multiple orders um, so I went over to Toy Tokyo and I grabbed another bundle with the Leonardo and the, um, the He-Man, the laser He-Man. Thanks, Eric. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, so I picked that up there and then I waited and I went back in and I saw all the stuff, this stuff was still available on the Funko. Yeah. That's what we were talking about, Tats, that you had a, uh, a curved one. And so I grabbed the Purge Trooper as well because um, I wanted to grab him. I was shocked that that one was still available. And then I had that one sent to Lisa's house uh, so that it was at two different addresses. And if I would have known now or known then what I know now, I probably would have grabbed a couple more things for Nolan um, for Christmas and stuff like that. Because even as of today... Um, it's, there's things still available. <clears throat> uh, 
So uh, this is the stuff starting here from STCCC. So you can see the Rocker Toucan still there. The Pirate Toucan still there. The Freddy Funko Helmet is still there. Uh, Bilbo Baggins, the Hatsune, uh, Miku, Otto is still there. Star-Lord Soda is still there. The Squid Game Doll is still there. Miss Minutes, Penguin, Peacemaker. Um, was Andor one? I don't think it was. I know, yeah. So these are still more from that day. Um, the Serpentor is there still. The the Black, Blacklight Battle T. The oh, I keep, obviously these pictures aren't coming up, but there's still a lot from that drop that is still available. So Starler, you think is a restock? Oh, okay. I've seen it available for the last couple of days, so I'm not really sure. What do you think? I mean, why do you guys think that ordinarily you can't? Number one, they sell out a lot of the stuff within the first two minutes. Um, but uh, Donatello, which was supposed to be, I think, Caitlin, you, you and I were talking about that. We thought it was going to be a show only pop was still up well into that evening and possibly into the next morning. I, I mean, is this a sign of what kind of we've all been feeling, which is that Funko stock is dropping? Um, or was it just not a great drop? I want to see what everybody's feelings were on that. Don't everybody talk at once. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't care. I'm just glad I got the crap I wanted and hope that luck holds out for ECCC. I'm ordering Star-Lord. Oh, yeah. There you go, Funko. I'm helping you out with sales. Um... Funko fatigue of the gas prices hurting the wall. I agree. Uh, I'm I'm very lucky. I work for a fantastic company now. I have a great boss. Um, and, you know, he helps out with that. So um, I, I, draw, I put 18,000 miles on that car since January, which is crazy. But side note about my great boss. Happy birthday to my boss, David. He His birthday is going to be Thursday. So Friday on my dad's birthday, my dad's 70th birthday, he is taking a bunch of us to <clears throat> Michigan Adventures, which is an amusement park with roller coasters and everything. Lisa's going with me. It's on the west side of the state, so we got to leave early. All waiting for the new characters. Uh, yeah, but I, I mean, how many more new characters are there? I mean, we're how many thousands of Funkos are there now? I mean, it, it's... I don't know what to, I mean, I don't know what else is left. Now, I will say the one thing everyone is into NFT now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there were some things from Fun Days that I'm super excited about. I, I will. Hopefully he sees this, but I will tell him. Um, we're doing a little celebration on Saturday because it's a little bit easier for everybody um, to get together on Saturday. But we'll see him. Just got Star Lord. Thanks for that. Oh, hi, Bobbert. I'm really hoping that that I, you know, like with the the Huckleberries, we get one of each. If not, then because my mom paid for one, I paid for one. I have not seen the list for ECCC, Caitlin. If you want to, what up, Daddy? If you got a link, Caitlin, let me know. I'll uh, I'll throw it up. Um, I will say there's a couple of things that I do know for, uh, Emerald city that is coming up. Um, I will be grabbing one of these. I, I did find out that they will be on their website. Um, but we'll pull Caitlin's up first. What did you guys think of everything from fun days? Um, the stuff that they dropped, I, I want, Freddie as uh, Optimus Prime. I did want that. Um, 
I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I like was dying over. I don't really think so. All right, so we'll pull this up. <clears throat> Share screen. All right, let's bring this up. So Dragon Ball, don't care. Black Clover, don't even know what that is. Demon Slayer, don't care. Bleach, don't care. My Hero, don't care. One Piece, don't care. Black Adam, uh, Black Adam with Cloak. I'm hesitant on the Black Adam pops because we have no idea if that movie is going to go or it's going to bomb. Uh, Hush, Raven, Joker, Back in Town, comic cover. That one I'd, I'd like to get. Um, Marvel's Loki Bitten. Spider-Man, Pose, Spider-Man, White and Blue, Thor, Love and Thunder, Korg, uh, Star Wars, Andor Pops, Harry Potter, Ollivanders, The Town, TM and... Oh! Okay. There we go. So Emerald City, they're going to bring out the... So I'll have to get that one. The TMNT, um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Green Ranger, Shredder, uh, The Simpsons, Dolph, Starbeam, Treasure Planet, Jim Hawkins, Yu-Gi-Oh! Don't Care, Apex Legends, Pokemon... <laughs> So does Jimi Hendrix. Now that I'm, that one you guys know will sell. Um, the Skate Duck and the Demon Slayer Pop. See, yeah, you like anime. I I heard them mention it, and things that I've seen little bits and pieces from the Fun Days thing is anime, anime, anime. Whereas I don't get that feeling. There a lot of what's left on there um, is anime that did not sell out. So. Uh, what else is in there? Jimi Hendrix, Soda, Lord of the Rings, Arwen, Marvel, She-Hulk. I want that. Um, Hawkman, want that. Yogi Bear. What are you going to do with Yogi Bear? I have Yogi Bear. I have the Chase Yogi Bear. And then ECCC Crusaderette. Sodas are good. I always ask for Apex Legends. Huh. Interesting. Then we'll go to Handmade. Uh, so I had known about this one. <laughs> um, I knew this one was coming. And I'm super excited for this one. Um, because, obviously, with the, the ties to Detroit. So I'm super excited for the battle-damaged Robocop. Uh, I think it looks great. Lurking properly displayed. Yeah, well, I, um, whatever. I apparently don't have mine properly displayed. But I am excited for this one. Um, this is one I've been waiting for. So the battle damage Robocop. Um, I have both sodas. I have the common and the chase. Um, I have the handmade bear robots. Sometime I'm, I might try and pick up the actual Funko Pop for him as well. Um, but married to do an Eminem, a, a bee rabbit as well. There's so many that I want, um, ahead of that one. Back to the future being the, the biggest set that I'd like to see. Uh, very excited to see what, when those come out. Um, I did. Oh, I picked up Oogie Boogie. He's in the other room. Um, because I was gonna take a picture of him with the uh, the lights off with the black light on him. So I did pick up the limited edition Oogie Boogie. Uh, that's number seventy eight. So I'll update the list. Uh, if anybody wants the list that I made, let me know. I can probably email it to you. Um, just so that you and I'll I'll make you one that doesn't have all the haves and stuff on it. You can use it yourself. Um, I'll do it in like a PDF and then you can mark it up if you want. Uh, it took me some time to put that whole thing together with all the different box sizes, all the different new, new box arts and everything else. Um, I know somebody said to do it as a Google doc so that it's kind of a living thing. Yours didn't come with the GameStop sticker? The, oh, Sharon, I just saw him. 
I haven't seen the album. I did go to Walmart the other day, and they had the uh, they had Ozzy Osbourne and they had Britney Spears albums there, but um, I haven't seen that. There you go. Look at all the look at all the community help we're doing tonight. So I don't know what box number he's going to be yet, um, but hopefully, I don't think he was on the. I don't think it's on there at all. Maybe there is. Oh, 125. And it's only a thousand units, you guys. So this is going to be another one that, that I, I did see on their social media that they will. Um, I think it's right down here somewhere. Uh, we will have them on our website as well as we stated in the post. So um, look for that when the when the convention starts that you will be able to grab that. Again, this is now they're, you're starting to see the limited edition ones, the 720s, the thousands stuff like that of these. So they're, they're making them a little more exclusive, which is something that I know when we all first met Mary. Um, oh, that's right. I don't think, it, I, I, uh, I don't think it was a mistake. I think it was a mistake. Um, I think that was something that she sent you because she loves you. Still need to get Hocus Pocus. Yeah. I, they haven't, that I know dropped any, I'm not really sure this week uh well they dropped the charms and stuff last week i haven't pre i have not pre-ordered those yet um kind of focusing on getting out the um the rest of the four packs and i ran out of room so i've got one four pack over here so i've got four five of those now the five four packs but I don't have the I don't have the best collection of them, but I need yeah they do need an HMBR Chuck. Um, I don't have the best collection of the Handmade by Robots, but I think it's pretty good. It's decent. Okay, back to fun days. Let's go back. I don't know if I can find it. But I'm super excited for one thing. I think I actually posted it in our chat. The cocktails chat. We're, did we not talk in the cocktails chat today? How is that even possible? Where is that chat? Why is it not showing up? I know we talked to him today. Why? Where did that chat go? Weird. Did I get booted out of cocktails? And not even know it. Possibility. All right, I'll just send it to myself real quick so you guys can see it on the screen. Where is that picture? Eh. I did lose you guys. You sh you shush. It wasn't here. It literally wasn't showing up. I don't know how that's possible. I'm pretty sure I sent you guys the picture that I was excited about and apparently didn't save it. So that's what I'm looking for. Yes, here it is. I'm going to save this real quick. Hey, 
Okay, Big Easy. James, how are you? You guys want some elevator music? Because apparently this is something now that we can do on, on uh, StreamYard. So this is Feeding the Ducks. Feeding the Ducks, that's what this is called. There's all kinds of music you can play now. Okay, enough of that. I don't like any of the music. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, I am super excited about this. These are, they're itty bitty, bitty pops. They got sodas. I hope there's a teeny tiny figure inside of them. I, I don't think that we'll get that lucky. I have a feeling they're going to be a lot like um, the world's smallest ones. Hang on, you can't see me because I have this up. Pull that down. So I have a feeling they're going to be like this. I don't think that the sodas will probably open, um, but the pops will probably be something you know similar to what you get in the in the world's smallest or in the mini brands. Um, I I know exactly. Um, funny thing is, is that if you guys have noticed um, since Handmaid's taken off kind of the Funko overlap on things that they've been doing. Um, so, you know, obviously I have the astronaut right there and now they're coming out with an astronaut soda. Um, what else is there? I, I, I don't know if they're feeling some sting from them or they're a little bit worried, if you will, um, that they're starting to jump on it but now they've jumped on the on the mini brands and you guys know that there it's going to be in some sort they've already done you know all kinds of of blind ball things that you can get with with all the, like the soda cats or whatever those stuff are uh that being said um i'm still gonna buy them because i like little things i mean i love the the tiny stuff so i, I those are those are definitely something i'm gonna jump on right when they first come out Mini Brains at Sonic. Yeah, I saw those on um, on BK Phipps page. I don't have a Sonic that close to me, and I haven't been down near one. I Well, I kind of was this morning, but uh, I had to go to an appointment. So, um, yeah, I, I got to jump on those. I mean, I'll just I'll buy myself lunch and dinner at, at Sonic and just to get the Mini Brains. The mini brat styles. Yeah, you keep saying that. I haven't seen those yet, Caitlin. They are. I mean, uh, honestly, they are. Um, I I know Blacklight is popular, but at the same time, I kind of think they've overdone it. It's now we've got this whole big stretch of all this Blacklight stuff, and it's like, okay, now we got it. We've got all the Blacklight stuff. It was the same thing when they jumped on all the Chrome stuff, you know? Now it went from Chrome to now the black light wave. And I mean, I don't know what's next. I really don't. I kind of wish that sometimes they would just get back to what they were good at. <laughs> not true at all. I'm not tiny either. I'm six foot three. Yeah. So I, I went, speaking of being six foot three. So I went to a house this morning and so sometimes I get to get basements. Sometimes, yeah, mini black light is next. There you go. Uh, sometimes I get basements. Sometimes I get crawl spaces. And when it comes to a crawl space, I have Tyvek suits that I put on over my clothes because I learned in the hard way. Um, have fun, Ian. Yeah, I haven't gone to ours yet, Sharon. I got one not too far. Maybe I'll try. Um, but. I got to this house today and I read the description and I'm thinking, I bet you this is not going to go. I bet you this is going to be a bust. And I got in and opened the hatch to the crawl space and I could get my body down there flat on my stomach. Um, but I couldn't flip at all. I couldn't like rotate on my, under my shoulder because it was too tight. And then between the beam and the ductwork and stuff, it was only between eight and 11 inches. So for our guys' safety and comfort, we don't do anything uh, shorter than 18 inches. And, um, well, that sounded horrible. Uh, we won't 
encapsulate a crawl space that's shorter than 18 inches or put drainage in. Um, and so that turned out to be a complete bust this morning on that one. Um, and that's where I was that I wasn't too far from Sonic, but then I had to go, I got a whole freaking trunk full of glass block windows right now that I got to run over tomorrow. Yeah, I, and I do, I am slightly claustrophobic. Um, like I've, I've always said, like one of, one of the dreams is to go into the pyramids, but I have a feeling I would have an absolute panic attack. I don't like to be confined. Um, that's part of the reason, like I, I want to be cremated because I, I don't want to spend eternity in a box. That that just freaks me out. Sharon says she's over the black light. Yeah. Um, I, I there's got to be something else. I mean, they did all kinds of diamond. You know, like Mama J said, Mama J got out of the diamond ones because there's just too many of them now, and it's like stick to the regular ones. You know, I don't need 17 versions of the same. Pop. I got the box of fun because of I wanted to say I got a box of fun. Um, because just because I never had one, and I figured if I didn't like anything that was in that, I could probably trade, you know, use them as trade bait for some for something else that I wanted. So. I mean, there's a lot of things that they haven't. Yeah, crystal ones are next. Um, there's a lot of yeah. They already done. They've already done crystal. And a John Cena. That's crystal. Actually, uh, I sold that John Cena to Peanut Butter. Rest in peace, my dude. And I kept, obviously, I have parts of all because I have all of the Ready Player ones. Oh, yeah, the Carnage. I, I'm kind of shocked. It, I guess not because I'm oblivious, but um, the ones that are even 4,000, there's certain ones that are 4,000 piece count that are more valuable than the, like the Tron and the Thor. I mean, uh, I'm hearing Spider-Man is probably going to be the most valuable one. Um, one thing that's disappointing that, that was pointed out was that these are just pretty much Freddy heads stuck on the body of the character. I don't know where my Mando is. That Mando, he's probably at the bottom. But they literally just popped it off and then you know, and just put a Freddy head on it. I, I've seen the Tron figure. It's the same. Um, I don't know. Pops to play music. Ones with, with actual sayings from the movies would be cool. Where you could push it and, and you know, it would, like, Great Scott for Doc Brown and stuff like that. That would be cool. I wouldn't mind that at all. Snake Eyes. Yeah, I, I do agree. Um, Snake Eyes is, is one of the better molds that, that I saw. Uh, I liked the Carnage. I, I actually did like the Spider-Man, the, the pose that they chose. I did like that. The Danny Phantom is, is super cool. Um, oh, a Deadpool Freddy would be great. Um, which other ones did I like? Han Solo, they said is crap. The Freddy Fresh is, I guess, nobody likes that. And the Squid Game ones, nobody really likes, except for, unless you're Violet. Um, Christina, she wanted those. So she's got all three of them now. But, uh, and I, I would have like sold it mine to her for cost. Because, <laughs> so she's, she's been a little more than that. But I, I mean, I don't know. I, I watched part of the show and then I, I don't, I think I got through like five or six episodes and stopped. I don't know why. Whew. Excuse me. Not really sure. So. All right. We got to run this wheel here, kids. 
Yeah, I think that was supposed to be a run DMC pop or something. Um, I'm not really sure. <coughs> All right, let's get this going. So this is going to be for Patreons. Thank you so much. Um, this is going to be for the um, wheel of for that the bloody seven, one of the seven hundred and twenty piece handmade by robot ghost face. Let's get everybody. Ruguru. Should we do last name off? So we got some suspense. Boys, Rachel, OCD. Easy E pop, yeah. Uh, Tracy. Umpty, Mama J, and Teresa knew all. Umpty. Umpty, Mama J, 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 Newell. Okie dokie. I think that's everybody. We're going to do 17 seconds on there. Let's pick a fun theme here. We red, white, and blue. What do you red, white, and blue? Red, white, and blue. All right. All right. Do you guys want to do? I've had a weeping willow branch and it's growing. I put it in the pot in a few days. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Rue Crew. Hey, Jenny. All right. So, what are you going to do? You guys want to do SE? What's going on? You guys want to do last last name off? Is that what we're what we're going to do for the ghost face? Got Rue Crew twice, Two Boys twice, Rachel twice, OCD, Tracy, Caitlin twice, Umpty, Mama J twice, and Teresa Newell. I did not put my parents on there, even though they're Patreons. Yeah, okay. How many shuffles? Hey, welcome back, Ian. Eight it is, Eric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good luck to all my Patreons. Thank you so much. Uh, let's get this going. Here we go. 17 seconds.
Oh, sorry, OCD. That was his one and only first elimination. Sorry, Newell. Oh. Still got one more, Umpty. Still got one more. Uh-oh, PETA. It's either going to be Kaylin or it's going to be Kaylin. Still got one more, girl. Sorry, Rach. I love Rachel. He's great. Sorry, Mama J. So I think OCD is the only one that's been eliminated so far. Hashtag rigged. I see this is why I don't like doing wheels because I mean it actually sometimes I think it is. All right, we're gonna change the time to twenty two seconds now. Sorry, my girl. <clears throat> oh, Eric still had two. Still got one more, Eric. Rigged. Pretty much now it's going to be elimination going forward. Hi, Fenway. You, you going to come say hi? Oh, thanks. And you just knocked my phone on the floor. Sorry, Tracy. She held in there with one for a long time. Now oh, it looks like a beach ball. Hi, my girl. Oh, I'm DM so sorry. I, I've seen where they've shuffled it before, Sharon, though, and then I've seen, like, people get hit, in, like, in rapid succession. So I just changed the time up so, you know, it gives a little bit of, of a different span. So it's down to the last four. Not saying the names. Is he gonna, gonna escape? Is he gonna escape? Oh, you lucky dog. Sorry, Newell. Down to the last three. 
all three families. Sorry, Jenny. Sorry, Rach. Eric. Congratulations. Congratulations, my dude. Eric, two boys. Ghostface does love you, sir. Now, everybody who is not Eric and um, is going to be on a wheel next week for a snack crate, uh, which is the normal quarterly prize. This was something in addition. Um, so come back next week. We'll do something different than wheel. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not enthused with wheels. Um, not because you want Eric, just because I, th I think that they, they're predictable. So, um, what we will do next week is we will, we'll run a wheel with, um, everybody who, well, Eric's going to be off cause he won a prize this month. Uh, everybody else that's a Patreon come back. We're going to do one for another snack crate to come on. Um, if you, Someone wins that's had a snack crate. You guys can opt if you want to take the snack crate and come back on or opt to pass it on to another Patreon. So um, if that would be up to you guys. Everybody that's in, in the Patreon group is, is pretty cool. So uh, that will be next week. I believe next week's going to be the peanut butter challenge with everything. So we've got uh, peanut butter chili, um, dill pickles with peanut butter, brats with, with pickles, hot peanut butter and cheese. Um, peanut butter pork and peanut butter jalapeno poppers. So I, it's going to be peanut butter. Um, spam is spam weeks coming up. Uh, I'm going to have to get uh, all of my dates straight for when we're doing the cooking. We haven't done a live cooking one in a while. Peanut butter, mac and cheese. We could do that too. Um, but uh, we're going to do peanut butter taste tests like a pre exactly, except that's not a possibility with me. Not to worry. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, I, I wanted to do fun things with peanut butter. We're going to see what, what uh, we can come up with and i um, going to have mom and pa back on after my dad turns seven. I, I've had seven names to mom J's two once on a wheel and lost. <laughs> um. So we'll be doing that. So we'll draw for the snack crate next week. We're going to be doing the peanut butter challenge next week. Um, all my SDCC stuff should be in. It's saying it's not going to be here until Monday. It'll probably come Sunday. So I may just hold on. Um, Eric, bite your tongue. <laughs> I may just try and hold on and opening the boxes until Tuesday. At least the sodas. At least. Um, I just showed you what was coming. But... Um, I sh mine are not going to be here. It says until Monday. I would love if they got here sooner than that, but I highly doubt it. Um, and then Eric, as soon as they ship out the ghost face, then, um, we'll turn around and ship that out to you. So, um, congratulations, sir. 720 limited edition piece. I was not buying two of the jacks. No offense. Um, they are still available on handmade by robots. If you want to go grab it. Newell, you just missed it. Eric just won the 720 piece bloody ghost face. But, uh, and I was showing off my, my torn Freddy Funko. <clears throat> Look, it's your Aunt Teresa. Say hi. Say hi, Aunt Teresa. Say hi. Say hi, Aunt Teresa. Well, you're not, it's a very limp wave that you have tonight. Alrighty, kids, it is almost 8.30. You guys know where to go uh, tonight afterwards. Go check those boys out and uh, have a great time. Make sure that you guys check out uh, Eric and Sassy on Popping Around the World. Eric, uh, you guys are Sundays now, right? Anybody else that got shows coming up? Umpty, you dropping a video anytime soon? Caitlin's constantly dropping stuff, which is great. Go check it out. Uh, 
Anyway, you're super hot right now. Oh my gosh. We're going to turn the air on. You know, you want to see what uh, Caitlin picked up for me? What I did with it? Here. Don't step on my comics. Don't step on my comics. Ta da! Ooh. And then hopefully by I got the the black backgrounds for the comic frame, so I'll, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys those next week. I'm going in retirement soon. No, you're not. Bob Ross video this Saturday. Oh, wait till you see these. I, I've kind of gotten a glimpse of those. So we are moving to Sundays. Okay, for sure. Okay, so Eric and Sass are going to be on Sundays. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Figure X last week. He ended up coming back after I ended the show, and I ended up talking to him for about a half an hour, 45 minutes afterwards on uh, backstage. An amazing, amazing, amazing human being. So make sure you guys follow him from last week. Super sweet guy. Um, just everything that he does is very community oriented and, and wanting to put something good back out into the world. So Sharon's going to be doing an update on her gardens and plants soon. Awesome. Check out Teresa Newell on Papa Wheelie's, um, Hell on Wheels, which is the, the comic book show auctions. Those are on Saturday nights, uh, eight 30. I think my time is when they're on, uh, Teresa helps run the boys. Oh, okay. Moving from collectibles to reggae music. New album dropping soon. You heard it here first, everyone. Umpty is going to be a platinum singer. Hosting an international exchange student for the school year. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. I didn't even know that, that they had continued that after COVID. So that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else? All right, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, if my stuff comes in sooner, I'll drop a video. Because, you know, I can't wait to open my sodas. So um, we'll drop it um, sooner than later. But if not, thank you guys all for coming. Congratulations, Eric. Next week we'll draw for the snack crate uh, for the Patreons. And that's it. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.